boat head here. Uh, this is the Hoyt Helix Turbo we're going to be trying out today. We're going to get some first impressions right now and see how this bow shoots. Helix Turbo got a whisker biscuit, cheapo true glow sight, and we're going to get a first impression on this thing right now. Uh, I'll review the specs and everything with you a little bit later, but I just got this thing on a trade for my PSE XF33. We're going to see how she fires. First time shooting this bad boy. Not a speedbow fan, but we'll see how she goes. Ooh, it's really short for me. That's pretty impressive. Impressive enough where I'm going to fling another arrow. Now, granted, it is not set up to my draw length as you can see, obviously. It is way too short. But trying to get a first-hand impression on this bow is a little bit difficult because I wanted to get online, which I typically do, to figure out how to adjust the draw length. And I'm a little baffled right now. It wasn't as intuitive as I thought. It looks like the modules are specific to draw length, which kind of confuses me. Because um, typically, you have a sliding module. Well, I can adjust the draw length, A, B, C, D, E, um, but I was a little too afraid to do that without finding out exactly um, what I need for the modules, if I need to adjust the modules as well. So that's why you're seeing the short stubby elbow. And that's fine, because I'm just going to get rid of this boat today uh, for some money and trade for uh, a mission hype DTX. So uh, I just want to get the feel of how this baby shoots. Arrow one was pretty good. I actually like the back wall on this thing. It's firm. It doesn't want to creep like your normal speed bows. Wow. Yeah, Hoyt Helix Turbo. Uh, I'm actually kind of a fan of this. Like I said from the start, I'm not a speedboat fan. I do not like the creep. Uh, even with this being a little short for me, when I'm firing, it is very dead in the hand. Uh, it's quiet. And uh, just for the sake of it, we'll shoot one more. Um, the draw cycle is very smooth. And uh, let's see here, we'll do one more. Well, let's review the specs. All right, shooting this bow was actually uh, pretty interesting. I was very surprised. I am not a speedbow guy. This thing totes around 350 feet per second. It is definitely fast shooting, but it doesn't seem fast. So shooting it through a chronograph would definitely be interesting. Uh, the draw lengths definitely do differ on this bow. I did discover through more research that it would take a module change to uh, change the draw length. So if I wanted to go to the E mod, which I would prefer, which is 30 inches, that is actually going to take me changing the module, all right? So uh, keep in mind, the, <clears throat> the cams will actually dictate, this is a number three cam, the cams will actually dictate the draw weight range that you can um, play with. So 28, 26 to 28 inches is your number two cam, 28 to 30 inches is your number three cam. Once you figure out what cam you have, you know your weight, your, your draw length range, once you know your draw length range, got to get the modules uh, that you need specific to your draw length. I don't really like that, to be honest with you. Uh, it's a five inch brace sight, super short. That's where they get some of the speed probably. 31 inches axle to axle. Um, I will say though, for a speed bow, it shot super duper smooth. It's gonna be a little cumbersome to be able to get to the draw length that you want unless you take it to a bow shop and pay the extra money. Uh, me, I'm a kind of guy who likes to find things used online, switch, swap, trade. Uh, to get what I need at a low cost. So that would take a little more time investment. I don't want to do that. So uh, for me, ease is better. Uh, even though uh, being able to change the modules on this might actually keep some of that speed. And maybe that's why they chose to do this on the uh, ZT Turbo Pro cams. But overall, nice shooting bow. This is the Hoyt Helix Turbo. I'm going to give it a bow dad rating of a 9.0 out of 10. And get one, try one yourself. This is a 2020, I believe. Uh, so it is a used bow that you'll be finding if you want to go this route. But this is Bow Dad. I'm out.